All right, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the software itself. So let's just go. I'm just going to type in arc. There you go. We have our arc map here. Let's open it up and see how it looks. We're taking a look at the interface and talking about a few things today. So first, let us open our software. It may take a while if you have a slow PC like mine. All right, now when you open it up, you will have to take a map. And since I have worked before, I have this maps. You will most probably have a new map or a blank map. You choose that. Since uh, it's not showing for me, I'm just going to cancel it. There you go. So this is what the interface of the software looks like. And here's you here you have the table of contents or the layers. If you input some data into your software, that is going to be listed here. That is going to show up here. Okay. So now if, uh, if you wanted to input something here, you just come here, click on this add data symbol. Then from the data that you have available on your PC, let's open a shape file. We have talked about this in our first video that .shp is for shape files. So I have this BGD administration zero. So let's open it up. There we go. When I have opened a data or a file or a shape file here, you can see that there is a layer added that is BGDADM and a color is showing for that. So that is how you access the list of contents. Now, if I added something else here, for example, if I add another one, now they are overlapping because the coordinates are same for them. Wait a minute, I just need to make it a bit bigger. There we go. Because the coordinates, you can see the coordinates right just right below there and if you move your mouse along wherever your mouse is your software is going to give you the coordinate for that place uh, that particular place actually so if your layers overlap each other if you will just uncheck a box sorry about that then you will be able to see the layer that's beneath the one that you were seeing beforehand now if you uncheck this as well you'll not be able to see anything but they're here if i check it they're here and if I uncheck it they're gone now if you want to remove a layer from your list you just select that layer do a right click and then click in this remove there you go that layer is now removed from your workspace all right now that is how you can input your files here now I'm going to show you something else but before that you go to customize sorry not in customize first let's look at windows so when you go to windows you will have a catalog here click on catalog your catalog will pop up now i'm going to show you folder connections because uh, adding your data like that can be tough at times so we're going to connect a folder that contains all of our data and we're going to access the data from there okay so first let me just remove this there you go it has been removed now to add data what you can do is you can click on the side arrow click on add data there you go and if you you have a here connect to folder button you just need to uh, click on that and then you have to choose the folder from your pc you can do it from here and you can also do it from the catalog you'll see a similar uh, icon here connect to folder icon if you click there there you go now i'm going to the place where i have all of my data stored there you go Alright, on file. There you go. This is the file. Hey, where did it go? Sorry about that. Let me begin from the beginning again. I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. I have a lot of files. Uh, sometimes I, I can keep track of where, where I put what. There you go. There you go. And this is the file that I want to take. Now, just click on OK. After choosing that file. Now it's supposed to be here. Let's do a refresh. And this is supposed to be our file. There you go. Since I have linked it before, it is not linking again. So there we have our file here. Linked to our file. Now from here, if you go to a file, you see that our bgdadm0 is here, bgd ADM1 is here. So to open these files, you're just going to have to select the file and drag it to your interface and it'll open up as easy as that. Now, if you want to open another file, you just drag it on the interface just like that. All right, now you have your files opened up like that. So I highly recommend you to use the connect to folder option. There we go, there we go. I'm removing it all. 
All right. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the Arc Toolbox. Here you have the Arc Toolbox. Now this toolbox holds the most of the tools, if not all of the tools. Actually, it holds all of the tools, but we can access the other the tools from other places as well. A few of the tools from other places as well. But this Arc Toolbox holds all of the tools that you can use in ArcGIS. Well, mostly not everyone needs to learn every single tool to carry out their entire profession. So there are a lot of tools and we're just going to be learning a few tools that is going to help us along with the entire series. So here we have the Arc Toolbox. Now you can just close it. I'm just closing it. Now then we have Customize. So when you buy ArcGIS or order the free trial version, you go to Customize, then you go to Extensions. There you go. And you have to check that uh, the items I have checked on here are available or not. If they are not available, you should order, uh, order those items uh, along when you order the product. Or when you download the free trial version, make sure that the trial version comes with the 3D analyst, the arc scan, geostatical analyst, and the spatial analyst. All right. And if you have uh, actually bought all of those, you just need to make sure that these four are checked on because we're going to be needing them throughout the course. Okay. Now I'll just close that. There we go. And yeah, that was about it for this video. So. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.